Hi guys. I know I haven't done a video for quite a long time, but I happen to have had a accident on Christmas Eve. I was uh, doing uh, disc golf, and it was a uh, quite a hard course, and I had barely played the game just one other time, or probably twice. And this was just a difficult course, and I'm not very good at it. So I ended up uh, throwing my disc, hit the ground well before the mark, and uh, it rolled into a creek. So, I mean, it was fairly nice, um, you know, that day. But it just wasn't... Uh, Still, I mean, it wasn't dry. It wasn't that dry. Along this creek bed that my uh, disc rolled into, there was a bunch of leaves, and there was mud. And I went to retrieve my disc, and I just fell in to the creek. I slid down the edge. I guess it was about three feet deep, four feet deep, something like that. I ended up getting my disc, but I knew I had uh, done something to my ankle I knew that I had probably sprained it the second I fell but I was able to end up I thought well it's a nice day and I like the game so I wanted to finish my um, my game so I went ahead and finished it I mean it was painful but uh, I got through it it was a very difficult course too and then I did the uh, holiday things like on uh, Christmas Day, I seen the family, and I really did want to see the family. I didn't want to uh, try to skip that because of a little sprain. So I went ahead and did the, you know, did the Christmas thing. Can't remember what I did Sunday, but Monday I got up and I thought I ought to go into urgent care, you know, and that's when they told me, you know, to wrap it up and do all this good stuff. And anyway, I went to work for. Uh, probably about two or three days after I, I did the thing, you know, after I did it, I went and uh, started feeling really bad. You know, my leg really started hurting. And then one morning I got up to go in and uh, I just couldn't hardly walk on it. So I thought, well, I might as well go to urgent care again. And they told me that, you know, if I had any problems with it, to come back in, you know, for a follow-up. And I did so. I went back in. And uh, once they saw me, the doctor saw me, and she said, we need to immediately uh, send you to the emergency room. And she set it up, so I went to the emergency room. And... Uh, she had said she thought that I might have a blood clot in the leg because of the uh, the sprain, I thought, at the time. You know, but uh, they did some x-rays and stuff at the, in the emergency room, and they said it was actually broken. I didn't know that. So I was, uh, you know, doing a lot of stuff because I didn't know it was broken. I just thought it was sprained, and it was taking a little bit longer to heal. And then they decided they wanted to keep me because of the blood clots. And I was grateful for that, of course, because they are dangerous. And they ended up keeping me in the hospital for a week. I thought to myself, oh, my goodness. You know, I couldn't hardly stand that hospital because I hadn't been in a hospital for probably about, I don't know, since I was about 18 years old. And I'm 58 now. So it was a long, long time. So I'd never been in that situation before. So I went ahead and did my did my hospital stay, and then uh, I got out that following Saturday, and uh, and I went to the orthopedic surgeon on Monday for a follow up, and uh, 
they put me in a boot for about, I guess about three weeks. And uh, I went at the beginning of this week to see the orthopedic doctor again. And he said he would be able to release me in two weeks. And he gave me some exercises to do, which I've been doing. And uh, I got rid of that boot. I mean, I still have it, but I don't have to wear it, which is really nice. So, I decided I have to get out, you know, and they want me to get used to uh, wearing my tennis shoes instead of, uh, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> Instead of the boot I was wearing. So I'm in regular tennis shoes. If you can see, there you go. In regular tennis shoes. And I'm doing fairly well. Uh, I've been cooped up for such a long time. I just had to get out. I mean, it's probably about 45 degrees. And the sun has come out. And it's getting warmer by the moment. And it's not too bad out here. I have a coat on. And uh, I just wanted to get back into, you know, making some videos. Letting you guys know what's going on. I know I've probably been babbling a lot, but it's been a long time since I've been out to do that babbling. And uh, I'm just using my cell phone. Because it's, I always have a cell phone, so I've been trying to start using that it's a pretty good uh, pretty good phone I have a s10 plus that I use for my everyday phone but I upgraded from a galaxy s8 plus and that's what I'm using to uh, you know to to film this little walk and just to get a, a reaction to see if it's any good you know, see if the quality is any good. I also have uh, a gimbal that I got it sitting on, so that helps a little bit. So I don't have to uh, totally just walk and try to hold it straight at the same time. And I wanted to get back into, you know, giving you guys a few videos and explain what happened. And it got cold, too. I mean, I haven't got my bike out. Uh, I could, I probably would have gotten it out a few days in January because it was really nice. But like I said, my leg was still all messed up. You know, my ankle's broken. So, and I think I'm recovering. I think I'm recovering pretty good. And I go back to work in a week now. It's been uh, one week. So now I'm trying to get back out again and get back into somewhat of a of a normal life again. As soon as it gets really warm out here, you know, like in March, April, you know, as soon as it starts getting warm out, sunny, hopefully I'll be uh, able to ride my bike again. I mean, it's electric bike, so I don't see any problem because if you know, I just don't have to pedal it. You know, I'll just have to be a lot more careful until it's completely healed. But I think it's going to get there pretty quick. I trust in the Lord to do so. So I'll be up and at him again. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I might do uh, a few more videos of this park. This is Maryville Park. Of the way it looks in the wintertime. You know, just because it's really starting to warm up the sun. Clouds are completely, completely almost gone. So, I'm pretty happy about that. So again, thanks for watching and listening, guys. Take care.